Why can't I have root? All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is head on over to your computer and go to the developer.android.com and download the Android SDK. Now, this is going to give you ADB and Fastboot, which all you have to do is download this. It will be a zip. Extract that zip into your C drive. Pull over my folder. And once you extract that to your C drive or any drive that you use, just double click on that. Go to the SDK platform tools and you will see ADB and Fastboot. Those are the two files that you need. Of course these kind of correspond with that. But those are the tools that you need. So we're going to go back and what you can do is press and hold shift and right click. And you will see this open command window here. Once that is open you're going to want to go to HTC Sync and you're going to want to do the free download because this will give you the drivers that allows your phone to connect to your computer so you can use ADB and Fastboot and the next step you're going to want to do is go to HTC Dev and you do have to register it's you just have to so I'm going to go ahead and log in this to redirect me and we're going to go to unlock bootloader and we're going to go to get started And when it says select your device, go down to oops, go down to all other supported devices or models. Begin. Yes. And I acknowledge and I acknowledge that my phone's pretty much screwed if anything happens. But I'm sure nothing will happen. So the first thing we're gonna want to do is put our phone into the bootloader. Okay, so in order to put your phone into fast boot, just go ahead and long press on the power button. Well, unlock it. Long press on power. Hit restart. Hit yes. And then hold the volume down button. And there we go. We are booted into bootloader. So what you're going to want to do is fast boot is highlighted. Go ahead and press power and connect it to your computer. Okay, so now with our phone connected, if you installed HTC Sync, then the drivers are it'll recognize your device. So we're just going to go ahead and continue with the bootloader process. We've already connected the phone, put it in bootloader mode, log in again, and proceed to step 5. Now we have ADB installed from the Android SDK that I had you guys go install, so we don't have to do this. If you don't have the Android SDK, of course, you want to just follow these, and it also tells you where you can get the zip. It tells you where you can get the drivers and everything, but I will, I will provide a link below for you guys. So what we're going to want to do is type fastboot OEM get identifier token without the little period. So we're just going to go ahead and copy that into our command prompt. And see, I opened the command window inside that. So we can just go ahead and press enter. And it will give us this. Right click and click mark. And you're going to want to click from this, this arrow right here to this arrow right there and then right click. I have two monitors so and then what you're going to want to do is go down here to enter token and just paste that code and then we're going to go ahead and to submit it and now it will send you an email alright so this is the bootloader unlock key or token that I got from HTC so what you're going to want to do is go ahead and click this download all right, so you can save this anywhere, but I just go. I just went ahead and created an HTC One folder, so that doesn't take any time at all to download. And then what you're going to want to do is click here to go back to the bootloader and process unlocking process. Okay, and this continues on to step 11, where it says you will get an email, download the attachment, and what we're going to want to go ahead and do is bring over our documents. Well, where I downloaded this, I put it in my HTC One folder. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. I'm going to go ahead and paste this inside my SDK with the platform tools. And now we have the unlock code with ADB and Fastboot. So we can just go ahead and copy this Fastboot flash OEM unlock thing. <laughs> go ahead and copy that. Bring up our command window. 
taste it. It's much easier than typing it out. I don't mind typing it, but. All right, and if everything went okay, you will see this unlock bootloader. What you're gonna wanna do is use volume up, and you're gonna wanna go to yes, push the power button. Mm -hmm. Now, this will wipe everything on your device. I probably should have mentioned that in the very beginning, but. Alright, and the phone is booted up. So what we can do now, press and hold the power button, select restart, select restart again, and hold down volume down again to get into your bootloader. Right there, our device does say unlocked at the top. So now what we can do is go ahead and put the phone back in fast boot by just pushing the power button. It'll say fast boot. Connect the USB cable. And it will say fastboot USB. So I went ahead and typed fastboot devices just to make sure our device was connected. So we're going to go over to this other link, which I will provide, of course, which is our Torp recovery. So what you're going to want to do is go down to the very bottom and download it. It says right here, goo.im. And we're just going to go ahead and save it inside our HTC One folder. Okay, so once that's done downloading, we can go ahead and exit out of that page, exit out of this. We don't need HTC Dev or HTC Sync or the Android SDK. I'll go ahead and leave that up, but we're just going to go ahead and show in folder. It opens up on my second monitor. So what you're going to want to do is go ahead and copy this inside our platform tools. So we're just going to go ahead and paste. And what you can do to flash the recovery is use Fastboot. Go ahead and move that out of the way. Bring this up here. Bring over our command prompt. And what you're going to want to type is Fastboot flash recovery. And our recovery is called open. And if you type just the first few letters and then hit tab, it'll automatically fill it out for you so you don't have to, you know, mess with that. But you want to make sure you have their fastboot flash recovery. Anytime you are in the bootloader, you use fastboot. Anytime you are booted into Android, you use ADB. So just replace that with ADB. Go ahead and hit enter. And hope that my computer doesn't have a heart attack. Okay, so once that is done installing, all you're going to want to do is go ahead and go back to your device. All right, so on your device, you're just going to want to go ahead and hit the power button. This will boot you back into your bootloader. Use the volume down key to go to recovery and then select power. This will boot you into twerp recovery. Alright guys, sorry about that. I had to flash recovery once more because it didn't stick for some reason. But once you boot into recovery, I just had to flash it twice. You probably don't have to, but it'll ask you if you want to make a backup, which I suggest you doing. Just go ahead and make that backup because it'll be stock. Okay, and that is done. So what we can do is we're not going to reboot system. We're going to go home. And you see right here, we have twerp recovery. It's fully working. You can wipe, you can install any custom ROM you want, which I will have a video on that because you have to flash the boot image, but let's go ahead and reboot system. And it, it will ask you if you want to root it because we do not have root. So it, this will install super SU for you. So we're just gonna go ahead and say yes. All right, and I got past these setups so you guys didn't have to watch that. So if we scroll on over, go into our app drawer, select alphabetical, and you see right there, super SU. All right guys, so I went ahead and updated the binaries in twerp recovery, because if you do it the normal way, it fails. So I just updated it with twerp, and I downloaded root checker. And there you have it. We verified root access and we're going to grant that super user permissions. And we are fully rooted. So if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to see or know anything else about the HTC One, just leave a comment below. And I will see you guys in the next video.